Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm just going to set a whole result if the Windows Defender start actions are not working properly. So if you're attempting to remedy or clean a potential virus or malware infection on your computer, and the button to actually go ahead and remedy the problem does not seem to be working properly. In today's tutorial, I'm just going to set a hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match, or come back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you can easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select the file tab and then export. File name and recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. If you ever need to restore from the backup, go ahead and select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now we're ready to begin and we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for policies, so go ahead and double click on that. Should be a Microsoft folder in here, double click on that one. And then finally, there should be a Windows Defender folder on the left side, just left click on that one time. Now, if you see any values over here on the right side that say disable anti-spyware, go ahead and right click on it and you'll delete it. So again, right click and you'll delete. Again, anything on the right side here underneath Windows Defender, when that's selected that says disable anti-spyware, you want to right click on it and delete it. You can also tap the delete key on your keyboard as well, it doesn't really matter. And then you would want to restart your computer if you had to delete that entry in there. So again, hopefully that would have been able to resolve the problem. If you're still having an issue, something else we can try here as well is by opening up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match, come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have a couple of commands in the description of my video, guys. First one is a DISM scan. So go ahead and copy that. And then go to the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it. Select edit and paste that in. Hit enter to begin that scan. Just give this a couple minutes to run. Okay, so once that has concluded, go ahead and copy the second command in the description of my video here, guys. It's the System File Checker Utility Scan. So go ahead and copy that. And then again, paste that into the command prompt the same way we did the first one here. And go ahead and run that.
Okay, so once that has concluded, go ahead and close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. Okay, so there you go, guys. Hopefully, at this point, if you attempt to continue the cleaning action or quarantine action or whatever action you were having the problem with with Windows Defender previously, hopefully that issue should no longer be present. As always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.